Yeah, hello. Uh, you doing? What's going on? Foxman here. Uh, playing some more of the darkest dungeon, the dankest of dungeons, fankest fungeon. Um, okay, I apologize for last episode-ish. Mostly to myself, if anybody. I, I need to apologize to myself for being such a dummy. Uh, I make all this big hoo-ha about planning ahead and this and that, and I... I I go in and level up to level 3 to some of my people that I thought I was just going to do like get them to the max level 2. Um, because I intended to use them against the wizened hag. But um, <clears throat> you know what? We will continue on. We'll, we'll try to make the best of a bad situation. Uh, or at the very least an unfortunate situation. I mean I'm not bad. Like They leveled up which is... In a way, it's a good thing, but, um, yeah, just a little premature, I guess. But anyways, it's nobody's fault but my own, um, and <laughs> I was felt very discouraged after that, so I haven't played Darkest Dungeon in, uh, in about a week, um, but I'm back, and uh, hopefully, I'm not ready, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna lie to myself, I'm not really ready. Um, and I feel like this could be the beginning of the end, but no, we'll, we'll persevere. First of all, let me reacquaint myself with our, our missions and stuff. I know I have, yeah, the swine prince and the wizened hag. Hmm. And I really, 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 really wish I could use Northern Lion. Like, I really do. But I don't have an occultist. I need an occultist. Uh, that's like my, that's my foot down kind of thing. And I'm hoping a lot of you guys agree with me. You know, I like to bring a healer with me. But the Abomination will not co-op. No, he'll, he, I think the Abomination is pretty cool with everybody. But the Vestal and the Crusader and the Leper are like, no, man, no. This guy doesn't believe in the same things as I believe. I will not, will not tolerate their presence. Which kind of sucks. Um, so if I could bring a Vestal, oh man, I'd be all over the Abomination. If I could, I had an Occultist, oh man, I'd, I'd be taking this boy downtown Julie Brown to, to kick some boss man ass. Um, but that's not the case. See, so look at that. We even got this Demon's Cauldron, Occultist only, which would be great. What's the one here? Houndmaster, which is another class I really want a Houndmaster. Very rare. Hmm. So this is where, like, do I just try to fight one of these dudes? Do I... Put my neck out on the line. I don't know. Just one second here. I'm going to pull up the curios. You may call that cheating. I just call it, you know, preparedness. Darkest Dungeon Curio. There we go. Um... Like, what else do we have here? 100% of room battles. Swordsman aggressive crusader only. That's uh, common. Not not that, uh, you know, special. No, I'm not going to go out of my way for it, is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I mean, it doesn't have any negatives, which is always nice. This is a, a veteran level mission, which I guess I could do at this point. I've got a lot of level threes, so. Mm. Hmm. I kind of want to just go after like the swine prince, to be honest with you. Who is Dr. Cox is good for the Swine Prince because he's got some blight and bleed in it. 
the swine prince, as far as I know, its lead resist is pretty low. And I think, I think I could be speaking, I am speaking out of my ass. Maybe I'm lucky in saying, like, his blight resist is low as well? I think, like, a lot of the bosses have very high stun resist, move resist, stuff like that. But I think his blight resist is pretty low, which in my case would be awesome because, you know, play grenade is, is sweet. Um... And we do have incision, which wouldn't work if he's in the you know position three and four, but you never know. Let's let's just pretend we're going after the swine prince. Who do we bring? Bob Vance. Bob Vance can um, cheer on everybody, you know, get their accuracy up and all that stuff. Dangies is only level one, but maybe uh. Uh, I don't know. Again, he's not... He can't... This is where I need a Hellion, but oh my gosh. I don't... I don't... I don't feel comfortable being... Bringing Fossil to take... Take on a boss. Chandra. Like, we need some tanky people. And some range... Like, I need another Highwayman, Grave Robber, Handmaster would be okay. Bounty Hunter would actually be really... Uh, it would be okay. 13 out of 15. Well, we do have room. Let's... But it's not like I'm going to take whoever on. Yeah, it's these guys. <sighs> This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. Like, maybe I'll do this. Rare. No. I don't want to do, like, another just, like, apprentice. But I kind of want to do that. I feel maybe I should do it just to, like... For the warm-up, if I haven't played this game in a week, I need to do that for myself. Yeah, we should, you know what, maybe we should bring Fossil. That's the Cove. I haven't done the Cove yet either. You know what? Let's F it. Let's do the Cove. I don't really care for the charm, but... We'll, We'll, we'll do that. This will be good for Fossil because I need to get her trained up. And um, Mustard 2, actually, the Arbalist. Yeah, because I'm talking about having somebody ranged, right? You know, High Women Grave Robber, but the Arbalist is ranged too. This could be good for us. Um, the th yeah, both... Fromage and Pervy are level 2. Or level 3. I want to bring somebody who can heal. Ah, oh, that's... Although, maybe we'll do... Northern Lion doesn't... He heals himself, and he stresses out other people. That's the beef I have. Do Fossil a Rockly Smile. And get him up. Mustard and Chandra or Dan Giesling. Okay. Well, I know I want Fossil. Fossil's gonna be good hack, Iron Swan, Barbaric Yacht Breakthrough. What am I missing if it bleeds? Adrenaline Rust, bleed out. I'm gonna actually stick with these. The shoot, I, I really don't like her debuffs, but. Whatever. You go there. Mustard is best in 3-4. So sniper shots. Bola. Bola. Not to be confused with Ebola. Battlefield bandage. Um, this actually works on anybody though. Heal 2-3. to three. 
Clear stun. Clear marked targets. So this is actually cool if we go up against dudes that are like stunning us or clearing or marking us. And the debuff resist. Actually, that could be really good for the Hellion. Because the Hellion debuffs herself a lot. So this is kind of like an... This is a pretty interesting move. And it increases the, the torchlight a little bit. Line fire... Random target. I'm not a huge fan of that. Sniper's mark. So it marks a target. And decreases their dodge. Suppressing fire might be fun too. Does bullet do range? Knockback. You know what? I'm, let's just go with this anyways. Let's put you in four for now. Uh, Nick, I definitely want to get get Nick going. Disorienting Blast, Battlefield Medicine. So, you know, since I don't have a Vestal, I think it it's definitely important that we have a lot of guys that can heal, at the very least heal themselves, but if they can do things to heal each other, even if it's not for a ton, it's still, it's still good. Um, so Battlefield Medicine. I almost want to do the emboldening vapors though because that's really good to give somebody like the Hellion to cancel out a lot of the debuffs. So if I did that, what would I get rid of? Hmm. I don't want to get rid of Plague Grenade because that's awesome. Battlefield Medicine. Do I get rid of... Hmm. Or do I get rid of that? Or do I get rid of the incision? Maybe I'll get rid of the incision. This I can do from anywhere. So I'll just temporarily put you in three. And then I've got to think of either Dan Giesling or Chandra. I'm thinking Danny boy. We got to get him. We need a really good leper. We don't have one. I've already got an awesome crusader. I like you, Chandra. You're good. But you've had also a little more playtime. Uh, I should really think about Hugh, though. Stand. I don't really use intimidate, so I'm probably going to get Hugh for Danny boy. Alright, so that's going to be the crew for the cove. I don't know how it's going to work. But let's try. Oh, I've already got Hugh. I just have to actually activate it. But uh, how much money do I have? 10,000? Okay, let's... Let me get some of this stuff going. Was it Rockley Smile that I wanted to unlock that on? There we go. I think that's all I'm going to spend on their moves. Because I got some people that got some diseases I want to I wanna get healed up. So... Uh, was Hugh. I think I'm going to get rid of Revenge. Stand. I do like the stress heal a lot. That I like. Wait. Might even do that. I'm doing that. Okay, Nikki boy. Battlefield. Emboldening vapors. We're getting rid of that. Let's. It's kind of kind of risky, perhaps. Okay, so let me see here. Bob Vance, that's only six fifty. I'm gonna do that for you. Who's got a lot of stress? 
We don't have a lot of stress. Okay. So that's okay. I'm not going to de-stress anybody, but I am going to get rid of some diseases. Um, let's... I don't know. Get rid of your scurvy. Treatment ward. Who's got some bad stuff? Ruins. Oh, oh she's already in the treatment ward. Right? That's right. No one cheat. Well, I'm not going to get rid of that. That costs too much. Okay, Croismas is on the short list. Costs too much. Bloodthirsty. That's our only negative thing. Pervy is awesome. Chandra, too much. Northern Lion. You know what? Let's do Pervy. That costs more than I'm happy about, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, okay, okay. I really should be, like, making it so it cost less treatment cost by 10 ah oh, man should have done that that's very cheap I've got a lot of busts and crests curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul could do it again even I'll do it before the next time I use it, just in case I find something else where I need to use a lot of busts. Okay, I apologize in advance for taking so freaking long doing this stuff. Do I have any trinkets I can sell or want to sell? I'll sell some of this stuff later, perhaps. Because a lot of these trinkets I'm not going to be using for too long anyways, so... You know, like, whatever. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's get out. Uh, I've done enough talking. Let's do the cove. This will be a good kind of get back into it. Hopefully get these guys leveled up. Hopefully don't stress them out too much. I don't have a healer, so Ooh, I'm a little scared. Okay. Uh, Do I have any trinkets that are specific to anybody I have? Bounty Hunter, Houndmaster, Arbalist... I might as well do that for the Arbalist, because it's... 1% crit. It's not a ton, but it doesn't have any negatives, so that's even better. Stun skill chance, stun resist, minus 4 dodge. Maybe. Do... Wait, do I still have... um? This does stun. Why not? Minus four dodge, which definitely sucks. <laughs> and might bite me in the butt, but... Might bite me in the butt, but... Alright, uh, we got some good stuff here. Let's buy 12 food. 8 torches. 2 shoves. 2 keys. Um... Should I do... I'm going to do two of each. I could almost justify doing more because the lack of a Vestal. Especially for bandages and more food. Actually, you know what? I'm going to spend all my... Oh, I can't buy any more food. Alright. You know what? I'm going to do this. And I don't want them stressing. So there's an extra one of those. I know it's overkill, but whatever. I had hardly any money left anyways. Let's embark. Take a sip of my water. The fish folk scaled skin affords them increased resistance to bleeding attacks. Fudge. Well, I'm not I'm not going in with a, an intent on doing a lot of bleeding. Um this fossil here, you know, I could have, you know, bought some of the bleed attacks, but just kept it as is, so I don't have to worry about that. Incision is is nice, 
But, you know, again, I took it off because I wanted the emboldening papers. So, eh, the fish can keep their scales, man. So we got to do 100% of room battles. So we'll have one little bit of backtracking here, but that's not too bad. Um, let's just be, be careful, I guess. Why are you debuffed? Until end of quest? What? If torch above 75. Oh, wait. Minus 10 damage of torch above 75? Plus 20. God darn it. Why? That sucks. Um, that sucks a lot, actually. <laughs> that sucks too, but at least we got the dodge. Good job there, Fossil. Alright. These guys in the front, if you've ever encountered them, you're like, oh, 5 HP, easy. No! They got 75% protect. So shit, it takes uh, a lot of physical damage. Or, you know, look at hero damage, 1 to 3. Oh, that doesn't work. Barbaric Yop, damage. Zero. Well, the damage mod is minus 100%, that's why. Because I'm a dummy. But it's, it's stun, but what's their stun resist? 50%, which is still pretty good. This might be the best... But it also does a damage debuff. Iron Swan may actually be the best thing to start with. We might get the kill. We got the kill. Stress Relief. Um, these guys, they have a lowish blight. And their bleed is not impossible. But I can't do the play grenade there, that's right. Um, although, maybe, why don't we do this? Bring this guy forward? Yeah. And I'll take the stun, too. Hugh might be the best course of action, because it'll do one to two there. You know, a fair amount on him, too. Let's do it. Wow! Double crits, back to back. Sniper shots. Let's see here. Knockback. Self. This is marked. I need somebody that can mark shit. What will this do? Zero to one. I, it attacks both. Let's just do it. Wow, what's with the crits? Stress relief, too. I'll take it. Alright. Brian. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I really wish I could get some plague action going on these guys, but... You know what? We'll go for the kill on him. Perfect, perfect. And... You know what? While I've got the chance, let's let's do this. And the chop should one to four. That's actually that's not too bad, <laughs> um, considering. Yeah, let's get the kill. I almost I almost contemplated doing some healing. Not a bad first fight. I mean, it wasn't a difficult one, but. It's nice to get something though to hopefully maybe maybe set the pace, maybe set the tone. <laughs> All right, so there's another torch. Uh, I'm really sorry to my boy here who, uh, you know, Dan Giesling. I'm gonna remove that ma that damage mod for having torch above 75. This is totally doable. Uh, I gotta remember what this curio does. I can't remember if it, like, removes a negative quirk or gives us a good, a positive quirk. Um. So she. Isn't she lovely? I might actually do this. Oh, one HP away. But you know what? Arbalist can, can probably handle her. Or him. And Hugh. Well, he takes up the first two slots anyway, so let's just go with Chop. And 
I kind of want to do emboldening vapors, but this isn't the craziest longest fight. So I think it is in our best interest just to try and kill them more quickly. This should kill him because it'll do one damage as long as it hits and the chance to hit is 90%. And Blight, he's got 20% resist, so he should be blighted and taking a lot of damage. The Blight alone does, what is it, 4 over 3 rounds, so that's 12. So he'll die if he doesn't get hit. Oh, he resisted. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, but you missed too. Alright, this is where... This is the guy. He does a decent amount of damage. Gotta be careful. Um... Do for nine. Remember crit mod self. Mm mm mm. Knock back. I'm just gonna start dwindling, dwindling, dwindling him down a little bit if I can. Uh, I do want to do some healing, but. Actually, maybe we should do this. On you. Eight to 16 is pretty good. 15, I'll take it. It's not a crit, but it, it still works. Now I'm going to start working on you. Huh. I ain't working on you. I'm done with you son oh get some marines all right he is going to i was gonna heal him but you know what the health is still pretty good let's just get this guy so close to being out of here all right it's no fun she's bleeding we got a lot of blood going on here he broke skin you know what let's kill him all right, we take the money. Let me uh, check out what this curio does. This is the ship's ship's figurehead. Just cleanse with nothing. We could get a buff or heal stress. Ah, right, so I don't think anything bad happens. So you know what? I'm actually gonna get fossil going on this. Inspires the hero. Look at that. Stress relief. The buff um, was plus speed plus damage. That, that was actually kind of what I was hoping for because these guys don't have a ton of stress. Um, and the stress heal was up to 30. So she's down to zero because she didn't have a ton to begin with. But you know what? It's okay. It's all good. We're in a relatively good position here. Once we get rid of this bleed. I'll take the extra key. Okay, stop bleeding all over the place. We're going to start he Oh, my God. We're definitely going to start healing up. All right. There we go. That's why I brought extra food. And extra torches. I would kill for some scouting soon. Hey, speak of the devil. All right, we got a trap. So, yours is trap 30, 20. All right, so I kind of wanted Rockley to do it anyways because he's got the most stress. Um, so his trap resist, you know, being the highest, I'm forced to use him. Yeah, although his, his trap resist isn't that great compared to something like a a highwayman, but uh, we'll work with it, and then we got a fight coming up. Let's just see. This is the brackish tide pool. I'm trying to think. I think it's Venom. Uh, let's see the curio guide. Uh, yes, it is. Reward 50% strong heal. 50% strong stress heal. What does strong heal mean? I don't really understand that. Uh, 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna... I'll use Dan Giesling on this one. So it just healed. Did I, oh, I didn't check what his stress was before, but... Whatever. It's a, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. In radiance, may we find victory. You guys eat. We'll get Nick ready here. Please work. Nice. That's eight stress relief. He's down to 33. Good job, my buddy. My brother, my mother, mother. I've hugged Nick's mom in real life a couple times. You should all be jealous. I've hugged Dan Giesling in real life. I've hugged Nick in real life and his mom. I've hugged Dan's, Dan's wife. Oh, very beautiful people. All right. Stress, double stress. We want to get these guys out as quick as possible. So Iron Swan is actually great for this turd nugget. Uh, I was hoping it would do some more, but at least it hit. And the hue with stand uh, might actually be a good start. Or just chop. I'll do I'll do withstand in a minute, but let's try to 16. Let's go for this turkey. Because he makes us bleed. I'm sick and tired of bleeding. And he's almost dead, which is cool, but he's gonna bleed. Resist? Oh, he did bleed though. Okay. This. We start with this. They're both blighted, which is awesome. Uh, this guy is now being guarded by this turkey, but again, he's still going to bleed out. Um, so, yeah, but we can try to get... Yeah. She's mostly... She, yep, she, I was just going to say, she'll blight out. She'll be poisoned. Oh, one HP away. Is that going to stress me? No, he buffed him up. Okay, that's... Okay-ish. Ooh, that's not okay. We gotta start healing these guys up. Do I do the self heal or do I kill him? No, oh, you know what? Get the kill. Oh, I was really hoping it would have been reversed where he did two damage to him and eight to him. But I guess he does. What's his buff? Protection, damage, accuracy, crit. Um, that is. Very unfortunate. This is only going to 3 to 5. Alright, well, that's, that's what we got. Let's go with it. Battlefield Medicine, Disorienting Blast. What's his stun resist? 25. Yeah, boy. Okay. This buff is still there, man, for a couple more rounds. Don't. Duh. You know what? Because I'm not going to do too much damage, I'm actually going to take the time to do this the protection will help you know get some stress relief in i could do battlefield medicine this he should have a yeah because when you do this it increases their stun resist after cure blight bleed actually what are you bleeding for one for four rounds one for one round all right here you go baby doll and then you may attack Sniper shot, and he's in position too. This is where having the corpse up front is actually helpful. Or I could do a heal. You know what? I'm going to do a heal on you. Miss? Okay, it wasn't a miss. Don't bleed. Uh, fudge. I should have attacked. Um... Could attack with this. It's only going to do 1 to 3 though, so I'll... I'm sorry. 
This is, I think it's better to, to, to get him buffed, to do the healing. Ah, uh, stop with the bleeding. Okay, I'm going to use a bandage on her <laughs> right now. Okay, this guy's tough. Um, you know, one, two. Oh, that would have been good too. Although I can do it on... Let's do it on him. I thought about doing the emboldening vapors. That was huge. Good job, Dan Giesling. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I want to save some food because they're probably going to want to eat again soon. And I don't want them to get stressed out if I don't have food. Okay, so I got to do room battles. So I don't need to come up here, although there is a curio there. So I'm kind of curious about it. So I'm actually going to do it. Crap. I know this is going to stress them a little bit, walking backwards, but it's just... Ah, it's seven. That ah, it sucks. But she can handle it. She doesn't have a ton of stress. Okay, now we go here. So we got a fight, we got an obstacle, we got a curio, and then an empty room. So, at most, two more room fights. But I'm hoping it's, it'll just be one. Another misfortune. Okay, get ready. Please be easy. Ah, stress, dude. We got this asshole who will blow up if we don't kill him quickly and cause a lot of damage. So I want to get rid of this guy here. And I want to kill them all, but... Um, plague grenade might be the best start here. Please work. Good. What's his health? 14. Bola. We might get lucky. And it's going to attack both these guys. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Let's do a uh, breakthrough to kill this guy. And, uh, you know, maybe get a no crits. It's okay. It's okay. It did what I wanted it to do. Don't make me bleed. That wasn't a bloodletting move. I need to heal. You do, actually. So we're going to... Battlefield medicine on you, girl. Oh, and the crit. Stress relief? Nice. Nick needs some stress relief, though. Uh, I'm just... You know what? Let's break it through. You know what? This is not a bad team. Considering we don't have a healer, I think it's 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 going fairly well. Fairly well. Fair thee well. Alright. Get in here. Alright, no fight. So... Oh yeah, I knew that one wasn't a fight. Sorry. Thought I was going into the one in the corner here. Um, ooh! Good, they're surprised. Uh, I just did that torch. It was perfect timing. I'm going to do another one of these. Oh, good crit. Good crit, Nick. Should we try it? Eh, could have been better. And she's debuffed, which does suck. Three to eight or five to thirteen. You know what? I'm going for it. Yes. Okay. Whatever. He resisted. All the others got debuffed. Um. He missed. He's gonna do it again. Aye. Big debuffs. But honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Watch this. Ah, oh, one more. One more. That's all you needed to do. Uh, then maybe I should... Should I... I need to heal her. 
Ah, I could have killed him though. I really should have killed him. I should have killed him. I could have killed him. Now you're dead. No! Dan! Play grenade on the guy in the back? Or... Disorienting blast? Let's do that. Maybe bring him up front. Okay. And then I'm doing this. Get the sure kill. He's hurting. I uh, can't snipe him, but this might kill him actually. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Right on the button. Okay. Oh shit. This is the this does a positive quirk or it removes a negative quirk. Wait. Medicinal herb. Purge negative quirk. Okay. Obsessed with food, which is, you know, could be worse. 20% stress damage versus human. It's the food one. Uh, Dan is the one. I don't like, like, any of these. And these both will cost 5,000 to remove, I'm pretty sure. The ones with the, the little skulls. So we definitely want him. There you go, Danny boy. So you got rid of the cheapest one, but even still, that's okay. That's okay. Open this sesame. More gold. Torch it up. Is this the fight or? Yep. Stress, stress, bleed. Oh, that's not. Why am I? I've got 95. Torch light. That sucks a lot. Oh, the stress is. Um. I could move, but I'm going to. I should move. Damn it. That really bothers me. Having to do it. It's just eating up turns moving. Because I don't think the Hellion can do anything back here. You can break through. All right. And it does bring her forward one. So, oh yeah, we'll do we'll do that then. Uh, do I want to do the chop or the hue? I'm relatively happy with that. Stop stressing me, dude. 4 to 9. Four to nine, we can remove her possibly. <sighs> I love it when it just works. That's really not good though. Okay. He stunned. Remove the corpse. He didn't come up any further, but that's okay. We got a kill. We got one dude who's got one HP left. He's going to make me bleed. Oh, and the crits. And the stress from the crits. Probably just do this. I don't want another Hellion dying. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's uh, resolve is going to be tested. But, you know what? Get some blight going. Wicked hack doesn't work. Barbaric yop. The, like, the debuffs from that suck, though. Minus 60% damage for three rounds. Like, that's why I don't like doing that, actually. So, ooh, snipe him. Nice mustard. She really put some mustard on that arrow. Uh, I want these. Okay, you know what? You, Nick, are going to be healed up. Oh, okay. Quest complete. Um, take all. Let's drop... We want to drop. Drop that. 
I'm gonna scout to see... So there is a fight in there, but we don't have to go to it. Let's at least see what's these two curios. Because they would suck if we missed a curio that could remove a quirk or something like that. Or remove stress. Which obviously isn't the case here. That is the case. Let's leave. Mm-hmm. Water in my belly. Oh, could have gone better, but honestly, I expected it to to go worse. I really did. Um, the stress was not good. Uh, we didn't have anybody on death's door, so that's got to count for something. So, photomania. Wait, minus twenty percent stress. Oh, if damage is above. Okay, so that's good. 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 Unholy Hater. I like that. Good job, Nick. Dud Hater. Minus 3% crit if HP is below 50%. And Evasive, though. Plus 5 dodge. Oh. Um, not too shabby. Not too shabby. We got rid of a negative quirk for Danny Boy, too. Acres. Alright, so Fossil and Mustard are both leveled up. We got rid of a couple of diseases. Pervy got rid of Bloodthirsty. So now Pervy is like... Pervy is perfect. Look at this. No negative quirks. I love you, baby. Um... Hmm. Let's see here. Whoa! Hellion only. If torch below 25, I don't like that though. Plus 15% accuracy. If torch, not percent, plus 15 accuracy. Torch below 25. I just, I don't like being in the dark. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very rare. Must 20 minus 20% stress damage. Book of Sanity. That's not too shabby. But I don't think we're ready yet. Um. Maybe doing the ruins, doing a long mission, or even in there to level up our dude some more. Like, Nick is pretty stressed, and so is Fossil. But doing these camping missions sometimes proves very beneficial in terms of getting rid of stress. And again, it's going to help us get to level them up. So call me crazy. But I might take the crew we have and do that camping mission. Nick also got Unholy Hater. So not that he's doing a ton of damage. But you know. What does Fossil think of the Unholy What about, um, mustard? Like, I kind of want to take Northern Lion on one of these missions without the Occultist, but the stress. If Fossil and Rock Lee didn't have such high stress right now, I would consider bringing Northern Lion on this mission. I really would. I'm sorry, buddy. What about Chandra? Chandra, we can maybe give Dan. Because look at He's also Ruins Adventure. Plus, this shit. Versus Unholy. Uh, where is it? Oh, the Holy Lance. Battle Heal. Oh, he's got Inspiring Cry. And I want to keep that because that's Stress Heal for anybody. And we need healing stuff because we won't have a Vestal. So maybe... Wait, let's just double check Mr. Dan Giesling. Unholy Hater. Oh! So, you know what? Actually, maybe... Fossil gets a break. She can at least get the stress relief. Nick... 
I'm hoping will survive. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to put you through this stressful situations, Nikki boy. But I think that might be not a bad idea. Because then we have two kind of like, you know, strong dudes that are good against the unholy. And Fossil, who's better in the coves and all this stuff. She can just relax, get a little stress relief. I can dig that. So this is going to be a bit of a longer episode. I hope you don't mind. But you know what? Let's just go with it. Go with it. Strike while the iron is hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. We don't have a ton of money either from that last mission. Um, which is okay. So you can have sex. Yeah. Anybody? Else? Let's um get rid of some diseases, quirks. I could probably do one quirk, one disease. Dacry's um. Let's go here. How much does this cost? Um. I need this money for the mission. The rest, actually, because it's camping. I forgot about that. I was thinking it was a short mission where I could get away with 1,500, but... Or th uh, 3,000 ish. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's straight up embark. Although. Stun skill. I could give that to Nick, but Nick already has to, right? Th oh, that's stun. Although that's only stun. And it doesn't reduce the dodge chance. Eh. This I'm going to sell for sure, though. Actually. Let's just go do that. 750. That's. Maybe I should sell that. Then I can, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> I dream of the day I get a bounty hunter. Oh, let's actually check. Like, I want to take... I wouldn't mind another leper, but it's... No. I can't do it. Can't do it. So now I've got a little more. I can justify getting rid of, like. One of these things. What is this going to cost me? 1800. 1800. HP is below 50. Stress damage versus beast. I hate stress damage. I also hate that. But you know what? Let's. I got I want to get rid of both at some point. I'll just go with this. Zoophobia. There we go. Alright. Let's embark. And, uh, Chandra. I'm gonna... Let me just slide up all these, like, level... Th Will you not slide up? Whatever. I can do it. I can do it later. This should be uh, a pretty okay team, though, I think. Yeah, we're definitely going to do the ruins. And the book isn't too bad. I'm happy with that book. What's this one? Three speed, plus 15% damage, plus 15% stress damage, minus 5 accuracy. Eh, no. What was this one? No, let's do this. Okay, provisions. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot? Reduce stress. Reduce stress. I can't afford to unlock these, although... It would be nice if I reduce stress by 20. 
Ah. And... Not great for camping to reduce stress, but... I really need, like, a lot of this. But it's okay. Just camping alone and eating food does reduce the stress by 10 for each if we eat 8 food. I think it's a 10 or 20. Anyways, let's go to provisions. What? Oh, this is a quest? What do I have to do? The unholy abominations inhabiting the crumbling house have returned beacons of light into vessels for diabolical worship. Cleanse these altars with uh, consecrated essence and bring back the light shit so I mean yeah we just have to activate it could be easy or it could take us the whole you know crawling through the whole dungeon but let's uh get some torches too Two of these, two of these. Oops. That should be good, eh? I'm gonna do one more shovel just in case. Mmm, more food, more torch. I think we'll be okay. You some might even say we're a bit overkill. Alright, so we've got some scouting right off the bat. Um, we got a fight coming up here. There's treasure. Will it tell us in here where these things are? Like, will they have a special little indicator? It's been so long. So long, farewell. Du, 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 du. Empty sack. Okay. It's one down. Get ready for the fight. There was a fire fight. Ah, no stress to worry about. And they're surprised. I mean, we could get stressed by taking critical damage or people dying, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think that's going to happen here. What is going to happen is these two jabronis are going to get a case of the Blightios. And look at that, stress relief. Nice, Nick. You the man. Um, do I want to do this? You know what? While I've got the chance, let's do some stress heal on Nick. The light, the promise of safety. And then we do... Let's snipe these boys. Do the hue. Let's go with some heal. Heal, heal, heal. Hey, don't, don't you shoot her in the booby. It's unkind. Hey, leave Nick's boob alone too. And Nick's beak. Uh oh. Resist, resist. That's what I like. And it didn't do a ton of physical damage. Uh, knockback. Let's try it. It might actually kill this guy. Oh, it killed him. I didn't actually care to move this guy back. I just wanted to do some damage on him. Do the damage on the other guy. I mean, if it knocked him back, I'd be happy with that. But um, Let's go for the hue here, actually. Another kill. He almost died. That would have been so sweet. Your blight bleed. Let's go for the. Wait, it won't do. This just should do the physical damage. There you go. 
Ah, oh, Dan. Danny boy. Um, as much as I want to kill this guy. Reduce a little stress and then Danny boy will get revenge. That's my plan. Or. Shit. Well, there you go. Is it Dan's turn? Nice. Do heal. Stress heal. I'm actually going to do it. And hope... Okay, good. This is good. Now I'll kill you. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, can't take it all. Uh, it sucks. That's worth a thousand. Oh, I'm definitely dropping that. As much as I want this, I'd rather have the money right now. Oh, just close it. Uh, more stuff I probably won't have room for. Oh, now I definitely want to... Shit, I could have had three... And the deeds. Oh, no, the deeds. What do I get rid of? This is the ruins. I'll bandage. The anti-venom is, like, the least important to have. Taking the deeds. And the bandages. Oh. Do I get rid of the bandages? I don't want to get rid of the torches. Don't want to get rid of my last key. This stinks. I'm getting rid of the bandages, though. Okay. Now. Which way do we go? Like, what? This is shit. Nothing in there. There's a fight there. Let's just go left here, and then we can come back up. Yeah. Who's got the best? 70, 60, 60. All right, Nikki boy, but the stress relief if you succeed. Yes. Nice. So far, so good. We are relieving a lot of stress. We took a little bit in the last fight. You sick son of a bitch. I, uh, I can't do it. But crests, I've got a lot of crests, so... I don't feel so bad giving them up. Uh, there we go. Go down, more scouting. Like I gotta, I gotta, get, I gotta check these hallways for the activated altars. I just gotta do it, man. Take you. Been looted. Nick again. The path is clear. Oh. Require only the strength to follow it. Beautiful. Okay, give me some more scouting. Yeah. Obstacle. The uh move to this room. This is a quest location. Oh, so they're gonna be in rooms, not in the hallways, but okay. That's fine. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Eat, eat, eat up. I made some more sloppy joes for you. And I made them extra sloppy. Because I know that's how you boys like them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lady, you're creeping us out. Uh, Alright, let's... um. Uncorrupt this altar. And then let's just like, you know, leave. Uh, I'm gonna do a... I'm gonna... Oh, shit. I don't want to turn right here. Oh, I don't have to because I already know what's in that room. Okay, so then we'll... Okay, this is good. This is good. Don't get stressed out, guys. We're doing good. We're doing well. We're doing good and well. 
Uncorrupting things is a good deed. Uh, we go up here. Keeping an eye on you, Nick. Don't you worry, baby doll. And then we go over here. And we've already been down this hallway, so we shouldn't have any surprises. And then we got another trap coming up. Might be another chance for Nick to get rid of some more stress. Uh, this is it. It's medicinal herbs, I think. I, I really hope it is, because I got rid of... Yes, it is. Um... What does that do? I don't know. Dan, you do it. Oh, it's just money. Well, not just money. That's a lot of money, actually. I'm happy about that. You... Wait. Why did I say eat you? I meant to do a torch. Whatever. Hey, enjoy the free burger, Dan. No, Nick, I'm so sorry. Oh, please don't stress too much. 15, that's like the equivalent of disarming two. Ugh. Sorry, man. Okay, this one's empty. Some more scouting. We got a fight. Two curios. Another empty room. So, shit, man, we're going to have to go all the way, pretty much. Camping is still an option, but I want to... Oh, I meant to do a torch. They're still surprised. Good, good, good. Yeah, I want to hold off to camping, though, to the very end if I can. And uh, that'll be most effective at reducing stress before we go back to town. I'm going to... What's your blade resist? 20... Orienting blast. You know what? S suck on this. So you, you know what? You need to heal yourself, Nick. That's awesome. Stress relief. Crit heal. We'll do a heal. Or that. And now we start killing. That didn't kill him. How much HP? Oh, he's got seven. Of course. I... Uh, this and they're gonna dodge it because they're spiders they're assholes eight-legged freaks good resist Dan are you so lucky no you're not and he got debuffed double oh good resist oh he's marked but these guys aren't gonna last too long so uh, the bleed and blight let's go to blight for Dan do what I can Nice. That was your last... Last move. Resist, resist. Good. I don't care. Mark them all you want. Uh, you know what? Let's just remove you. Don't! If this doesn't work this time... Well, it did. This expedition at least promises success. Screw the jade. I'm taking the crests. Mm -mm -mm. Take this right now. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. I wouldn't mind more food. Uh, thank you. 50, I can't, well, I'm not going to worry too much about 50 food. Let me give you that. Or 50 gold, sorry. Oh, shit, these can be, oh, god damn it. I honestly didn't think they could, oh, it could be one of these two. If I have to come back for that, that'll suck. That'll actually suck a lot, but. Whatever. If it comes to that, then I'll do it. I'm just going to forge on. Shit. I forgot they could be in the hallways. <sighs> Scouting. 
Oh man, we gotta go up here. It could be up here. The book could be bad, could be good. Please be good, please be good. It's unremarkable. So neutral to me is still good, because it's not bad. <laughs> I knew it was coming soon. Fight. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. Please get them both. Did. Good job, Nikki boy. They're playing the tit for tat game, though. They, they don't like what Nick did to them. Kind of understand. Um, okay, now. Hugh could do some good work for us. It did some good work for us. One down. This guy is hurting for a squirting. These other guys are blighting up. I'm just gonna t just. Hmm. I know it's kind of silly, but. Not that silly. Dan will take this guy out. These guys are taking themselves out with blight. Uh, should we stack it up or you know what screw that let's do disorienting blast we the one corpse bring this guy forward now the hue will do the do see so watch this BAM and I'm doing it again oh and the crit so some str oh wow yes Yes. Should I do the sniper? Let's do it. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Uh, more food, bandage. Uh, you just consume too. Nobody's bleeding. I'm not I'm not gonna worry about the bandage. Come back down. You know what? It, it, it wasn't, uh, we didn't do the curio, but that's fine. It was still a good room for us. We got some stress relief. Got some treasure. 10 out of 10 would do again. Iron Maiden, so this, uh, oh yeah, we, uh, the, this, we get some loot. Take it and then you can use a little more. Good job, buddy. Get ready for. Oh, I was gonna do a torch. We're still good though. Oh, that's not good. Don't debuff us. We got some debuffs. Does the hue four to eight? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Double nope. I will. Kill you. That's huge stress relief for Nick too. Nick's like, yeah man, good job. Well Nick's a very supportive guy. You know? In real life and in Darkest Dungeon. Uh I should do that. Wow, zero stress for Chandra. Uh I would do consider the plague grenade, but now that the guy in the back is dead, let's do another one of these. I mean, health-wise, you're kind of looking at this like, oh, things aren't so great. But remember, we don't have a Vestal. So I do think, relatively speaking, things are okay. Except Dan now is hurting. So let's let's fix his boo-boo. And get rid of the, uh, the bleed, too. Don't like the bleed. Uh, I'm taking you out. Wow. And then some more stress relief for Nick. Nick's like, heck yeah, man. You killed that guy. Um, okay. Dan. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, Dan. Oh. Ah. I should have healed him. Dan, this is all your fault. Oh no. 
Oh, that came out of left field. Man, Dan, you stink. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Danny boy. You can hang out in Valhalla with our former hellion. Can I see or whatever? Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, Dan, no. You've ruined everything. You've ruined everything. I'm just like, oh, I put so much effort into Dan and he's got to just go and die like that. What a weenie. I was talking about, oh, we're doing all right for health-wise. And then, of course, he dies right after. Ugh. I don't want to hold up. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Man. The only thing that could be worse is if we have to actually walk back. Curio. Is this like room battle with Curio? So it could be that, which sucks. I'm hoping it's one of these two, though. Like, really. Let's just end this nightmare. Open it. I'll take it, please. Uh, yeah, eat up. Oh, thank you. Okay. Like, if Dan could have... If Dan just... That was, like, at the end of that fight, too. If he had held on... Mm, no harm. Good grief, Dan. You're a jackass. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, let's camp. Huddled together. Less mouths to feed, though, I suppose. Well, Nick is going to go back with zero stress. And, uh, or close to zero. And same with, um, Fossil. So, Roost stress by 15. So I can do both of these, like, here you go. Let's just see here. So Nick has six. She got ten, so I'll do this. And nothing else that removes, like, actual stress. Hmm. Nope. I mean, I might as well just use something. Sure, there you go. Whatever. Alright, let's uh, rest up. Damn it, Dan! Alright, well. <sighs> that sucks a lot. <laughs> I just didn't expect. It. Oh, come on! I had a 100% torch light. Whatever. It's not, a, it's not a hard fight, but it's a stupid fight. You know what? Let's do this actually. Oh, no, never mind. Let's not do that. A dizzying blow to don't. St oh. I don't want stress, man. Damage me all you want. Just don't stress me. Can we. Should be able to take these guys out. Got an achievement. We slew the beast that creepeth. Freaking fox man cometh. Uh, you know what? Get rid of your blight. So we can't do any physical attacks on that dude. And Shazam! You're done. Oh shit, I should have milked it a little bit. I could have actually done the inspiring cry to get rid of some so stress. Will resistance 
Oh well. Let's go home. Damn it, Dan. So Nick is getting up there. Minus 30% armor upgrade costs. Right on. Right on. Let's just pretend Dan never died. I'll probably you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Get another leper. And get Dan. So Nick is very close to level two. Very close. Also, minus 65 stress. Got rid of some disease. Got rid of some zoophobia. Chandra's now level two. Let's just see who we've got. Um, nobody knew. Like, oh, I just want a bounty hunter, or friggin' houndmaster, or occultist, or even a jester. Jester wouldn't be so bad. But no. Ah, oh, man. And if I had another leper, I'd take a leper right about now. Because I don't got one. I ain't taking any of them. What are they? Ugh. All right, well, you know what? It was an interesting episode. It was a little bit of a longer one, but uh, I don't mind. I hope you didn't mind. Let's take a moment of silence for Dan. I'm sure we'll see Dan again in the near future. Um, maybe, maybe he'll be better, you know, reborn and all that stuff. But you know what? It was, uh, I don't, like, I don't even want to say it was bound to happen, like, I felt like things were going all right, and then just like that stupid death blow. <sighs> oh well. Rest in peace and pieces, Dan. Rip. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode of Foxman Plays the Darkest of Dungeons. Uh, until then, have a good one, and uh, peace out.